it's happened. I have now got 300 subscribers. And I got that much faster than I have done in the previous, year, previous years. I've um, managed to gain 50 subscribers per 6 months. But this time I've managed to gain uh, well, 50, 52 subscribers in 4 months. So it's so, um, much quicker than previous years. Um, which is really, really good. I'm, I'm glad that I'm now getting um, more subscribers even quicker. Hopefully that will increase even more. My subscribers will... Like I'm getting more subscribers over the years, even quicker than I have done. I might, might even get like 50 per two months, and it, you know, it could keep going up. Before you know it, I'll be probably be at 500. Uh, so yeah, um, in terms of special videos, I don't really know what to do. For my 100th one, I did a uh, tour for lifts in West Sussex, which is my old home county, where I used to live. Um, Obviously, I now live, live in Portsmouth in Hampshire. Uh, I can't remember what I did for my 150th. But no, I can't remember. Uh, for my 200th, I did. So quite. Oh, yeah, I did a uh, seven day vlog just of my life, really. Uh, um, that was difficult as hell, stressful as well, actually. And my most recent one, uh, for my 250 subscribers, was a what well, was me doing impression of several announcements including some text to speech announcements that appear on the buses buses here in Portsmouth so um other things I want to talk about um I've had loads of good comments for you guys so I really do appreciate it um thank you so much for uh, my 302 subscribers it means a lot to me that there's um Loads of other people that have got the same interest as me. I get to share it with you guys, and then you guys like you know you share interest in that. It's um the wonderful thing, really. Um, fortunately, I've had some I have had some trolls um on my commenting on me on my channel about uh, just saying this random stuff, you know, just to try and upset me, and it has got me got me a little bit. But I've reported reported one of them now, and they've stopped since I did, since I did that. So. Uh, now they've gone. Some of the same um, ones that other channels have uh, got, such as Benno and that. Uh, so yeah, um, so my most latest subscriber, who's down here, who's actually one of my. Um, that's right. Um, we just turn that off and I'm filming. Right? Um, is Rice Ten Ten? He I know from college. Harrison. He um. Gamer, as a lot of my friends are from college, really. So yeah, that's it. That's it about the uh, channel, really. So once again, thank you guys for three hundred and two subscribers in such a quicker time than that, that has been over the past years since the channel began in uh, April twenty thirteen. And as I say, I uh, started this channel to share my interest with you guys and. Uh, you guys definitely take an interest in that, and it's really, it's really grateful to, to do it for you guys, really. So, um, just a quick update. Um, M&S down at Commercial Road here in Portsmouth has now closed down. Rather surprisingly, that massive M&S that has a modernised fares lift, it was modernised by a Stanner last year. Um, I don't know what's going to happen to it. Um... The lift lift's going to survive, depending on what sort of store it's going to come. come. It's absolutely ginormous to go from Commercial Road right the way through to um, Cascade Shopping Centre. And it goes like round the back of like all, all the small units, um, the one that used to be on the, to the right side of the entrance of Cascade Shopping Centre, opposite, the entrance opposite Craswell Street and uh, you know all the shops alongside on that right side before m and where, where it used to be um, down the mall itself so yeah um, at the moment it appears that B&M are actually opening up um, in quite a few old older units I know at the old m and in Gloucester which moved into the old Woolworths uh, that's now become a and m bargains I remember filming the old first lift in there that was a really nice lift um, not me and the survivors are surviving now, sadly. 
I remember the ones in Chichester. Uh, you had the one at North Street, which still has original doors now, but it used to be a first lift in there with massive Jewers buttons. Uh, and then on the East Street one, uh, it was uh, identical to the one in, at the North Street store, except it had um, windows in the doors, similar to the one um, on the standard stand lift out at the station, actually. Just uh, Chichester Station. Train station. Yeah, needs to have a nice um, pale green um, colour on the doors, which was at the time the Eminence branding, which is I actually preferred. And that's when people was talk, still call it the full name, Marks and Spencers. Anyway, um, so yeah, also BHS, where BHS used to be in Fairham, um, next to the generic lifts, um, Eyerly Circoms lifts which go up to the main car park or fair shopping centre that BHS is also now become a B&M so that's why I'm thinking that this um, M&S is going to become a B&M it's big enough I mean it's massive, it's got two floors uh, or if not that I would have thought it would probably be split into several different units you know, just to spread out and the first one might just become offices or something but I don't know that I've just made that up really um, if I do, if I do find out, I'll let you know. I'll put it, put that the information in the description of this video. So though it's actually currently now uh, ten twenty ten o four at night. Um, I need to go to bed. I'm absolutely tired. I've been at college today. <laughs> um, so I'll see you guys later. Please keep subscribing. Uh, once again, thank you so much for all, all your support. For this 302 subscribers, it's absolutely smashing for, to have that many subscribers, and it's a pleasure pleasure to share my interests in my videos and post them up for you to enjoy. So, see you later.